Hello! Who's out there in the void of space tonight? Let's have a little look. Hey guys. Oh, hey guys. Slight, <laughs> slight disaster today. Before the stream, I was just about to start the stream. And then I, I left the room for like five minutes. When I came back, the the room was covered. Uh, the room, the uh, my cat had knocked over my glass of drink, sticky drink, which went all over my desk, all over and into my keyboard, and it was dripping onto the floor. So, yeah, it was an absolute nightmare. It's a pro it's probably the worst. Django's knocked over a lot of things, but it's probably the worst spill that he's actually done, I think, I'd say. He's sometimes knocked a bit of water over, but this was bad. This was all over the place. And, like, I'm, I've currently got my mechanical keyboard upside down trying to drip out any stuff there. I, I, left it, I, I don't know why it was... It, it took me so long to unplug it because I didn't know what I was thinking. Like, I had it plugged in. It was working just fine. I was typing and stuff on it. But it was still like kind of stuff in it. For some reason, I didn't plum plug it. And then I came back again. And then some of the RGB was like, it was, it was supposed to be red, but some of them was like switching to green and red and green, and red and green. I was like, oh crap. So I quickly unplugged it and put it down. So hopefully it dries out and it's good. But I've got a backup keyboard now. But that's that's a quick story. It's just a quick uh, dog ate my homework excuse for why I'm running a bit late today. But it's good to see you guys here. Uh, so many, I see Seven Sins, Pixel, Lux, Heiko. Uh, Gaby, Rodrigo, uh, Lazy Surfer, um, the pre, the Prefect, Blade Viridian, Charlo, Crimson, Dunn, Evenstar, Elfie, Terence, Chipsticks, Chozo, Salt, Adarainen, Necro, Salt, and more. Yep, no RGB, no gamer power. It's true. So honestly, I'll be very sad if the keyboard's dead. It's a, it's a Corsair, it's a Corsair K95, I think, which I got around seven years ago, and it's and it still it, it still was, yeah, it must be yeah, probably was seven years, maybe even coming up to eight years ago, I got that keyboard, and it's still working like a charm. No signs of age whatsoever, um, until maybe now. So we'll see. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, William? Welcome, Wicked Gaming, Red Fury. Good to see you. Um, so today, guys, we actually have a re we're going to be revisiting a mob we checked out just a couple weeks ago. We're going to be checking out AI enabled. Now, this mod is already improving quickly, and uh, I was told I should re I could look back at it now because they have a scenario prepped as well as the improvements. And you guys in chat seem to really enjoy and got, kind of got really excited about this AI. Uh, NPC mod that uh, J Turp and, and a bunch of modders have made. So we're going to have a look at uh, more of that stuff today. Uh, your cat had no mercy, pretty much. Uh, I tried that VR world; it was awesome, cool. Red Sword, I'm really happy you got to kind of uh, experience the Space Engineers universe in VR. That, that's great. You have the same one. I know. I, I I don't know yet. I mean, there's a bunch of things you can do. You can like unplug it, and you can unscrew it, and clean the clean it all with like uh, alcohol and stuff. So I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna let it dry for a bit and see if it's all good. And then if not, I will. Uh, well, I don't know. More thorough cleaning. Uh, fantastic. We'll also do some Q and A later on. Uh, you know, it's always good to get some questions out there. So I will do some of that later today. But we will start off with by jumping right on into this NPC mod. Because you guys really, really uh, took an interest to it. And I did too. Only kind of announcement today uh, is that the Steam Summer st Sale has started. So I'm going to check myself here. I've been waiting for an opportunity to uh, get uh, Space Engineers for a friend. Or a friend has been waiting for an opportunity to get Space Engineers a little cheaper. Come on in here. You now can get it on 30% off and including all the DLC 
minus warfare one are also all 30 percent off today so there's a little shout out if you guys are looking to complete your space engineers collection or maybe uh, get a copy for your friends the steam summer sale has arrived so that was the first announcement today stick it in a trash bag of rice to be fair chozo i do have a lot of rice actually i have this i have this big sack of rice i, I didn't think about it but it might be worth a shot actually and I'll, i've left it just drying upside down for now but maybe off the stream i'll throw it in a bag and see what it does i know that works with smart I know it, well i know that's good to use with some of the smaller electronics but i can't imagine throwing a whole keyboard in a <laughs> in a bag of rice but i'm sure it'll work hold on a second here Uh, DLC is cheap now. I want cheaper. <laughs> hey, Delane, how are you doing? Uh, getting that Wasteland DLC. Finally, opportunity to upgrade my rover. New blocks. Awesome chaos. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there for rovers. I'm curious. 07's in the chat. If you have every DLC that is available, I'm curious. DLC completion is out there. I bought it for my friend. He doesn't play. That is that is not good. You have to just keep pestering them. <laughs> or, or friendly encouraging them. Hey, by the way, you know, whenever there's, whenever there's, an, up, whenever there's an update, maybe. Hey, by the way, new update. Um, jet, wash it down, leave it, uh, leave it in the sun to dry. Actually, I'm just debating whether I should leave it on the window in the sun. Um, maybe I will. Hold on one second, actually. Might speed up the drying process here. Here it is. I've already taken off some of the key the, the keycaps on on this side, but I was like, I'll let it dry first. But There we go. Oh man, I'll be, I would hate to have to buy a new one though, because seriously, like eight years, it's a good investment. I can't remember how much they cost, but I, I feel like it's been so long since I bought a keyboard and mouse. I don't know how they go for these days, but I'm pretty sure it was like $200. It was crazy back in the day. It was, it was definitely, when I got it, it was definitely the most expensive accessory for, uh, for a PC I'd ever gotten, I think. You know, like external, I mean. Ah, uh, monitor, I don't know. It's got all those macros and everything. But, yeah, it is what it is. My back's, my uh, things are going to... Well, my chair's broken now. <laughs> Just my luck today. Hold on. There we go. F's <laughs> in the chat. Rice is nothing. Yeah, I don't know what I did. I, I feel like I messed up. I don't know why I was so delayed in, in unplugging it, honestly. That's what I feel. I feel like I might have wrecked it. It was fine. It was working for like 10 minutes. But for some reason, idiot, stupid reason, I didn't unplug it immediately. Uh, I just guess I didn't think it had gone that deep. But I made a mistake. Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, so, yeah, we've got a bunch of people in, this, in the chat then who have most of them, or if not all of them. That's great. Can you tell us that the next teaser will come out? Definitely soon. We are approaching. Uh, let me just look at the game. So, oh, there we go. We are approaching um, the next update, but it is. A, I'm obviously not. It's a bit early to say today on stream, but you can keep an eye out for teasers soon. Okay, so Climb's going to instruct me here. So here we are in the scenario world. And we haven't seen any NPCs yet. So let's see what's going to happen here. Join up in any faction. Okay. Ah, okay. So we've got 
Adventurers, alpha bots, assimilators, azure, battle bots, black bots, bots, incorporated, builders, cartographers, climb bots, engineers, fiber optics. Well, there's a lot of lot of different bots here. What do we what should we go with there? Hey J Turp! J Turp is in the chat as well. Good to see you. Clang it's gotta be clang bots. Oh, hold on, I can I oh, I must be in a oh I'm in uh, space pirates, okay, hold on. We're going to join the Clang bots. Oh, hello. Or not. It doesn't look like a can. Or oh, ADV. Adventurers. Okay, i got to join the ADV faction. Okay, there we go. So join the ADV faction. Adventurers. Okay. Let's see here. Gates are closed. These, these are obviously where bots spawn. Okay. Let's see climb outside. I mean, let me read this scenario here. Hold on a second. Captain's log. Mission start. If you're reading this, I'm likely dead. Or worse, I was sent here with a small team to secure the last remaining functional refinery here on Pertam. I lost comms with them several days ago. But the sounds, the screams, they haunt me. I do not know what is out there, but I cannot bring myself to go looking for them. I tried. Oh, dot, dot, dot. I tried, but failed. At every turn, I failed. I couldn't save them. You must do what I could not. You are our only hope. The location of the refinery is below, along with what, along with, oh, um, along with uh, what the team noticed as an abandoned building. Maybe there's something useful there. The team's last message may still be listed on the comms panel. Okay. So I look anything to get, okay, nothing in here. There's a pistol here. We'll take the pistol. Nothing in the dungeon there, okay. Uh, that must be a... Took the uh, easy way out. Right, so you got some... We made it to the refinery. But what, what? But it appears to be abandoned. So I assume the area will be occupied. But I... Uh, wait. Hey, do you hear that? I think we found the source of the noise. Cap, this ain't good. There are things. Machines. Some of them look like they used to be dead. I don't like this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Shh. There seems to be a, a sequence of events that we need to complete in order to take control of the refinery. From what I can tell, <laughs> garage has ga uh, cash. <laughs> control RM panel unlocks a door. <laughs> Med bay where we found to the <laughs> roof access. But I Jerry, uh, but I Jerry barricade the path after. Roof has a security relay that can be shut down. Otherwise, dead. Log four. <laughs> Cap, we made it to the security control arm. Uh, 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 but I don't like what I hear coming from behind this door. I think there's a reason they sealed this place up. But I think I see the emergency override for the crack. If I can... <laughs> oh God, they just keep coming. Cap! How long can we... Send Rian... I I thought I thought it should be more of a challenge. Guess not. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's the uh impromptu <laughs> that's the uh the, the log there. Um What do we learn from this? Interesting. We probably should we should probably should avoid this place, am I right? <laughs> ten out of ten. All right, just seeing if there's any more clues around here. Okay, we've got some refineries. And what did I walk into? Hey, doing Commander Riggs. Welcome everyone joining us. Okay, just some batteries. Just a little outpost here. The CIS seem to have said, oh. Hey, Anara. So got, I see on the, on the map, we've got Whiskey Outpost. And then at the abandoned BLDG, get the control room. Outpost Raf. Okay, great. So I'm going to assume here I want some friends. I'm going to assume we're going to come in here, right? We want some assistance. So we've got two bots the help and repair bot. I'm going to go ahead and make a combat bot that spawns some friends in. All right, here comes one of my friends. Still building. 
So Anna will hopefully get a friend as well. <laughs> we need more Zockley storytelling. Okay, so we've got Combat Bot 9504. 9504. So again, guys, notice how the bots take the same color as how you color your suit, right? That's why I've got a white one here, and Enera's got a uh, got a uh, kind of turquoisey one, bluey one. I, I think the limit is still one per bot, one per player, right? I'll just check. I uh, already have a helper. Okay, so I'm, I'm still I'm still hoping for when you can have like an army of these guys, but for now you can just have. One uh, NPC assistant each. So I think some people are probably seeing this for the first time. This mod is still unreleased. This is, this is an early access version of this mod. I saw something that they copy your moves. Can I just try doing a dance? If I, wait, what if I start dancing here? Hold on. No, I saw some. I saw a video where they copied your moves, but maybe that's not in yet. <laughs> so we're gonna jump in the car. Me and Anna Let's see here. Should probably open the gate first. I don't know. Maybe we want to get in the car. It'll open up. Oh, I can't get in yet. Okay. Probably ownership? <laughs> okay, I can't get in the, the, the driver's seat though. <laughs> That's strange. Who's driving? See, the bots jump in the back of the car as well. Yeah, DMCA, exactly. i got to turn that off quick. I'm just wondering if there's an issue here. Who does... Uh... Oh. Is the bot opening the gate for me? Is that just coincidence? I think we're taking the other car, I guess. Is that climb over there? It climbs over here. Okay, let's let's uh, let's jump, join up on my faction. What faction are you in, Climb? Oh, you're in this faction now. Okay, great. Can we jump in this one? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, they can control the doors. Oh, okay. Wow. So that's, so you were right actually. The bots do open the doors. Should I just hack the seat? Okay, we can hack the seat maybe. Looks like it's a six-player scenario. We have six. Four seats in the back, two seats in the front. Okay. And materials wherever you are. Okay. Thank you very much, Clan. Elite rifle. Very good. Still calling the elite. Of course, it's the uh, MR30E now. The bot won't drive for you. They are following us around very nicely, actually. I'm, I'm impressed. They even seem more responsive than when we last check, checked them out, honestly. <laughs> okay. So let's see now if I can... Uh... Should, should I rebuild the, seat, rebuild the cockpit then, I uh, climb? Oh. I have a grinder, though. You got a grinder for me, Clemay? Oh, you got a grinder there. All right. Got to hack that thing. I don't have a welder either, so... <laughs> I got nothing somehow. There isn't a link yet, Desir. This is not on the workshop yet. This is, a, this is an alpha world that... J Turp is set up for us here today, but this is not a this is not a public mod yet. It's still it's still work in progress, and hopefully today you'll be seeing how it's improved. You know, over since we when we last since we last looked at it. Might just have a little itch situation with the scenario here a second. Please start the radio menu before when you play a mods. You mean on Xbox, Doverkin? Oh, the welder bot, of course. Well, we could use that. Yeah, that's true. We have to kill one of our own bots. We have to sacrifice one of our bots here. Do 
Oh, but the welder bot has the welder on it, doesn't it? Okay. I've got no... Okay, he's gone. Oh, he's got three, three ammo as well. All right. So if Klein builds now a welder bot, you guys will see the welder bot come in action here. F's in the chat for that sacrificial bot there. All right. Here comes uh, the builder bot and whoever welder so we can pinch that welder off him to fix this scenario briefly here. There we go. Oh, he's going somewhere. Is he coming for the welder? Up here, friends. Okay, we have to, I think that's going to have to end it. Alright. Welder required. The mod itself is not available on the Steam Workshop. No, no. I would definitely put the link if it was available already, guys. Okay. No! Of course, without the resources. I thought you gave me some resources. Okay. Oh, we can grind down the other one, can't we? If you've got the grinder uh, climb, you can grind down the, the, the cockpit of the other one. Do you think how soon? I'm not sure yet. I'm not. Maybe Jay Turp or one of the other developers in the chat could uh, let us know if there's any estimate for when this will release. Oh, you have the mats. Okay, hold on. Where are you? Alright. There's the welder for you. This is cool though, we got our, we got our friends following us around. Hell yeah. We good? You wanna get yourself another bot uh climb. Another another combat bot. I'm not sure if the rest of the grid will work okay though. See. Oh no, no fuel. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we have to go to the other vehicle then. Let's see. We just try again. Maybe it's because it's we'd have. Uh, okay, that's strange. So a slight problem here. Yeah, both these vehicles. We, I mean, I haven't got admin. The problem is none of us have admin. That's the problem, Ritty. How you doing, Ritty, by the way? You can grind down all the... Well, we can't really grind the batteries down, can we? Hold on. Kaiser, welcome. Well, we are doing a, we're going to be doing a sh I can, another showcase of the AI enable mod in a scenario. So we have our, each of us have our robotic friends here who will follow follow us around and also protect us from threats. So hopefully we're going to see that in a second. I right, ping you when the mod comes out. Roger, Roger. I'm sure we'll post it somewhere. We can walk. We could go on foot. How far is it? It's not too bad. It's only 750 meters. I think the point is though that we do drive. I think. They can run. They can run as well. Look, they can keep up all right when they want to. We just put this. Uh Oh, are we? We're meant to hunt for fuel. Okay, maybe we're meant to go on foot then. Okay, let's 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 head out on foot then. As long as we get, long as we have our uh, robot buddies. Is it? 
it's just checking something, it's not gonna... Okay. Okay then. Are we good? Still looking for fuel. Is there fuel around the base? Yeah, they're like 5 million to build. They cost space credits to build the robots. I think it's 5 million for a, a combat robot. And uh, 1 million or 2 million for a, a welder robot. Currently you can only have more. Currently you can only have one, actually. You have to find the remote control block, apparently. Uh, Climb, is there any way we can get admin for that? Oh, Chipstick's joining. I think Chipstick's probably admin. He can probably help us here if there is a problem. <laughs> I'm just curious. It's just, it's just curious to know if this scenario is like... Met, is, if this is... Uh, part of the mission is to find fuel or if there's a... Uh, if this is just a bug here, you know? An intended feature. I see Chipsticks will save us. Yeah. You have to, it's, a, it's 5 million every bot. They're advanced robotics, guys. Some, some advanced robotics going on here. They ain't cheap. Let's have a look at the, the bot spawner. Yeah, 5 million for combat and 1 million for repair, so. Not at all, Robert. Well, we can do some Q&A later today. I already said we'll have a Q&A section later on the stream, okay? Just um, going to do the showcase first today. <laughs> I don't know if Chipstick joins. Okay, we're going to restart the server so Climb has admin rights. Nice, okay. Well, brief intro here, at least. I think some of you guys... But 07's in the chat if you're seeing this mod for the first time tonight. If you missed this, because we streamed it a couple weeks ago. And uh, people were really interested in it. And uh, I was told there was updates. And I was super hyped to check them out. So I was like, let's do it again. So we're just having some issues with the scenario here. But once uh, we can get that fixed, we will be rolling... And see what awaits us at the uh, abandoned refinery. Uh... Not so good if you have to buy them when there is no economy like planets. It's a good point, actually. If you plan a, a survival world without economy, how you how you how you do it, right? It's a good point. Kickback. Obviously, creative or whatever is fine. You can give yourself credits. Um, you're only allowed to have one though, so I mean, you might be something where like you could just give yourself credits even in survival and have a have like you know a bunch. And Enera says. Credits may or may not be temporary, so we'll still have to see about that. All right, we're back in. Climb's got admin rights. Thank you, uh, JTurp. Let's get our bots built. I tell you what, guys, let's let's all build our bots uh, simultaneously here. Ready, ready up, ready up that combat bot. Maybe. All right, three, two, one. 
<laughs> oh no, it's not working. <laughs> oh, hold on. Factions. Uh, yeah, I'm on the spiders. Okay. Let's see if that fixes it. There we go. Nice. Here they come. That's so cool. My mind's ready. Seed ready. Can we make it daytime as well, uh, Climb? I want to get getting mixed up with Clevis again. <laughs> oh, J-Turf and... Uh... Oh, they're shooting. Uh, they're all... Already shooting chipsticks. <laughs> ah! Who they shoot? Yeah, I think they're... Sh okay. They're not in the faction. They're hunting them down. All right, let's get out of here then. All right, cars fixed, I think. Probably nearly soon. Bots rise up. I'm going to jump in the back of the truck here. My bot jumped in as well. And now we've got... Me and uh, Anna are in the back with our bots out front with his bot climb. So, <laughs> still hunting down some people here. We just got struck by lightning. What the? Hey, then, crazy Tom guy. I, I know that name. I know that name. Aren't you a? Don't you stream Star Citizen? We got mixed up. <laughs> So here we go then. We're all rolling out. We've got our bots. As it should be. How many bots will be able to run in single player having good performance? Because I can see some nice clone wars happening. Well, we actually did a test a couple weeks ago with the bots and we had like th over 30 enemy bots. We had these like 30 enemy robots and zombies in this kind of test world and it was running just fine. I knew it, Tonka, I knew it. Have you been to a citizen comp? I'm, I'm, I'm almost, because if so, I feel like we may have met actually before. Good to see you in the chat. Yes, there are, Ritty. You're about to see them probably. We're heading off into the desert. Oh, Chip Six got killed. Killed by his own creation. Okay, what's this here? This is some abandoned outpost. Hey, there you go. Austin, Texas. I knew it. Cool, man. All right. Our bots are coming in. We got some power kits in here. Or grinder, take that. All the all the stuff we can get. Right, let's just come through here. We're here for a second. Enemy detected. Hold on. Strong door. It'll take a while. Give it a sec. And... There we go. We're in. This is a spawner, no? Okay, there's a spawner there. Keep an eye on that. Friendly bot. Have a grinder. Oh, I'll put this back. Anyone want to have a grinder? 
Okay, some interior plates. Some steel, steel tubes. Oh, got a rocket launcher. That will almost certainly come in handy. Okay. I'll put some of this stuff in the car for you guys. Hold on. All right, so this is some, some about just a little bit of uh, resource. Let me just check something. Gonna keep an eye on the rain because uh, have my key have my keyboard in the window. It might rain a bit. So, all right, heading out. Storms pass as well. Oh, hello. All right, friends. We're missing somebody, aren't we? Where where did what happened to your bot? Oh, I think it might be in the car somehow. Don't know how that happened. Part of the music, I'm gonna get in trouble there. Okay, we just flipped. That's not good. All right, climb, drive, like climb, flip that, and I'll drive it. I'm, I'm a very trusted driver. Trust me. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm driving this time. I've no, I'm known for my my driving abilities. There we go. Oh, can I? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, it's remote control, isn't it? There we go. All right, pushing onwards. We're going to the outpost RAF. Is that a sound? What is that block playing the music? Is it part of the? <laughs> is it part of the script? Is it part of the uh, scenario? It would be very good, but uh... okay. See the outpost in the distance. The bots play it. Oh, the bots play the music when they in the car. <laughs> okay. All right then, guys. We've arrived at Outpost Raf. I see, I see movement. Hold on. Everyone out. Got some weapons here. It's a scenario, exactly, yeah. We're, just, we're showcasing the, the, the new bots with the scenario here. Oh, enemies! I got no ammo. Oh no! Get him. So the bots are defending us against these enemies here. We've got some space zombies. There we go. Good. There we go. So, just an example. This is just an example of, of a... This is the... Yeah, example of some, some of the applications, right, of this mod. So... You can see here, here's uh, Climb's robot. And we don't have to have any weapons, in fact. And these, these robots will run around and will defend us as we are running around, right? Mod, how do you do that? You have to remind me here. How do you zoom in on your minimap? I, I, this, on this minimap, Mob. The bots following us. So again, we're just seeing somehow the, how the bot, how the bots navigate across around these maps. Hopefully, we'll see. Shift mouse wheel. Hey, that's better. Hey, there you go. Look at that. That's better. Yeah, 
Yeah, crazy tonk. It's it's uh there's a lot to it. It's basically your your creativity are the limits, right? So everything that you see can be built by players. It's all block based and um we're looking at a mod right now, which is made of the community and actually the modding community is part of what makes this game so great, you know, I think. Uh, and the, the community is solid and the stuff the modders are doing is insane. So this is this M so this is a uh, we have there's not many there's not many NPC mods out there, so it's great to, it's really exciting to see something like this. I'm just curious if my bot's coming or not. I'm I'm curious if they're finding a way. One is I feel like, I feel like my bot might be stuck, but hold on, I think is this my bot here? That's my bot. Hey you made it! He made it. He navigated around. He made his own way, but here we go. So, this is NPCs uh, making their way around a grid here. Right, so we have got more enemies on the radar. I'm trying to find them. There we go. Right, some enemies in a cage here. So, what does this do? Uh. <laughs> Is that good? Look at my bot, look at my bot go. Oh! I'm bleeding. Have I got... I'm good, I'm good now. I'm out of ammo though, I've only got two rocket launchers. Two, uh, two rockets. Ah, oh, it's good. Spoke too soon, there we go. I'll keep these pistols there. Okay. If they get too stuck, they teleport. Okay, interestingly. So, uh, oh, behind you. So actually, the bots won't get stuck infinitely, right? I just realized though, come on, I think we, we got ourselves stuck in here. That's all right, we can escape, I guess, but I just realized. There we go. Oh, it said poison. Okay, so we got, I guess, bitten by the zombie. All right. Some power kits around. So right now, this is kind of like <clears throat> a zombie spawn, kind of zombie scenario. But we've also seen enemy robots as well. So if you're not into zombies, you know, the NPCs can be technically whatever you want them to be. It's probably better that they stay somehow like uh, kind of more simple or... Whoa. Oh, enemy robots. Speak of the... There we go. <laughs> Climbing his combat bot, just taking out an enemy robot here. So here we go. The robots are here, Munka W. Okay. Oh, there's yeah, more robots. Oh, there's one. Of, this is one of the. Uh, this robot here is like the the uh, the melee robot. It just punches you. Just look at that. He's trying to punch. He's trying to punch Enera. Oh, there, there's loads of them now. Hold on, that's not good. I'm gonna die. Help me. Protect me, robot friend. Got one. So yeah, this is just, uh, again guys, just to give you an idea of what this mod can do. What are we thinking so far? What are we thinking about seeing these, uh, you know, NPCs and space engineers? Watch those wrist rockets. <laughs> yeah. Get to the control room. Okay, roger that. Hold on. So, just to remind, just another kind of PSA, this mod is not yet publicly available. We have, um, Jay Turpin crew have given us a, an early access, an earlier access look at this. They're still working on it. And if you checked out the stream uh, two weeks ago, you'll have uh, seen the kind of the first version that's, that was shown. And this, this version we're seeing here is already improved. So we're already seeing a new improved version. And this scenario just kind of shows you, showcases some of the the features that these uh, NPCs have. So we've got to get, med there's the med bed, let's, let's break into here. It's best to go for the walls, isn't it? Well, 
What's this here? Uh, okay. Okay, that's cleared. Got a bunch of med kits, some power kits. Okay. Anything in here? Control room, control room. Unlock med bay doors. Oh, I oh I just realized I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I think I was supposed to unlock the doors. The, the flashing light up there says to unlock them. Right, let's, let's go upstairs though. Let's figure our way up. Now I know a lot of people have wants, well, basically wanted SE to have... Okay, they're going in there. Um, ways for the game to feel more alive, right? Whoa! I'm being attacked. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm getting really messed up here. Two enemy robots. Open the door for me. That's, that's nice. Alright, I'm coming up. I'm holding the last stand at the tower. Let's help climb out. Woo! So it looks like we missed a party up here. One, two, three, four... Okay, good job, guys. Now we press this to unlock the uh, the med bay doors. Not ha not yeah, not hack away in. All right. They're pretty tough. These. Let's forget about them. Let's move on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Assuming direct control. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Boss fight? <laughs> this is pretty cool though, running around this, this station and taking like taking out enemy contacts, right? There's something very, very satisfying about it, I will admit. Okay. So next objective, right, we've gone... Now we've got to unlock the roof access doors. And I think the point of this map is to show that it can be quite complicated. But yet, at no point has our robot lost us, right? We've been running up and down through all these production uh, routes. Some of them are cut off here, like through doors over objects and uh, our robots are still managing to keep up with us even though we're like running around pretty crazily. Saberoid Queen. All right, next objective. All right, roger that. Yeah, again, I apologize for hacking it again. Because an, a space engineer is DayZ. Right. So we've got to go, we've got to grind our way through here. Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm poisoned. Where's my bot gone? There he comes. See, ne never lose my, never losing me. This, this, this is great. Like, these, these are just working. And if you haven't seen these bots before, they can navigate fight on a moving grid as well. We were flying around in this moving grid, and they were just, they were moving around, around the grids, through the doors, through the corridors, just fine. That's really, really great. Right, so we can hit the roof access override. Can override the roof access. We can, the squad can move out here. Okay. This is this is feeling. This just feels really really good. I don't know what it is. I know it's it's, it's kind of like uh, it's this new scenario. It's kind of to just showcase. The features of the mob, but man, it feels good. It feels good. Just to Let's see here. Okay. Gonna... Oh, I just fell down. Oh no. Hold on. We're good. 
Where's the security system? Hold on. It's above us. Do we have to blow it up? I've got a rocket launcher. Maybe... If you... <laughs> I've got a rocket launcher, so I can shoot the... I can shoot the aerial on the outside if it's not a... Uh, command point thing. We have... What does it look like? Yeah, that's, that, there's the security system. I'm just curious if... We can get on to... Oh, this guy's having a good time. Woohoo! <laughs> Again, I could jump out the window and get on top. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not sure. I don't want to be hacking the scenario, you know, but maybe it's, sometimes it's hard to know what's allowed for like the scenario rules and what's, uh... okay, I found out, right, here we go then. Turret link control. Shut down link. Whoa, 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 I'm poisoned again. My bot's coming. Get him. Get him. I'll let him have him. Good job. It seems to be working. Have I broken it somehow? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting shot from somewhere. The guys in the courtyard are getting uh, attacked still quite a bit. Pretty good as well. They're pretty accurate. You know I mean, the enemy, the, the enemy NPCs are pretty accurate here. Okay, unlock the uh, security room doors. Here we go. Gonna make a run, and jump. Complete oh. <laughs> fail. That's, that's okay. The guy's got it. Oh, there you go. Area under quarantine. So this is what they said. Lonely commands. I think they said we shouldn't. Should I grind it down? Will I press that button? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Back up, back up, back up. How many are coming out there? Are he dead? Yeah, yeah, make it, make it, make it. Right, nearly died. All right, here we go then. Here's the the map of the base. Objective complete. Hey, hey, there we go. You've completed the scenario and saved the refinery. A power surge has swept the area, destroying any non-organic entities. Thank you for your service to humanity. Very nice, j -Turp. So, as you guys saw, just a really, really quick, short, you know, if you speed run it, it's like 10, 15 minute scenario. But just to demonstrate, to demonstrate the power of NPCs, both friendly NPCs and assistant NPCs, but also, of course, enemy NPCs in whatever form, you know, modders choose to have them if they want to be uh, enemy. They, they, could, they could also be enemy engineers. They're currently robots and zombies. They can just be zombies. They can just be robots. They could be whatever model you wanted them to be. Um, but just a really brief demo. And it's also demonstrating, you know, the, the pathfinding of these AI. Speaking of which, I'm not sure where my AI guy's gone. I think he might have died, actually. I think I might have lost my bot in the battle somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, I think we lost all our bots. Oh, he got wiped out, didn't he? All non-organic life was wiped out, including our own bots. <laughs> You're right. The sacrifice, the greater good. So, cargo mule robots? That would be great, Rotal. Actually, that would be really cool. Like, a robot that would just kind of follow you around and be like a portable cargo container, right? Xenomorphs? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bronstead. What is that? Oh, it's... Ah, I see there. Because the, the robots actually attack, right? The police robots actually have... You know, this may remind me though, melee attacks in space engineers, right? 
It's one of the things. You, no punching trees in Space Engineers. All right then, guys. Let's um, climb. Let's just. I don't. Want to, I, I feel like I just want to redo it again, but rather than rush the scenario, just let let's let the, the bots play out and stuff. Because is there any other, is there any objective we should do? Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, I just got killed. <laughs> so some of you were asking about how many you could have, and I would ask the same question. Like I'm imagining like many many robots, and here is an example that Climbs just sent me here. Let's have a look at this. There you go. So that's showing how many you could have. There's a friendly AI falling into line. So, again, just the uh, yeah, Space Engineers RTS. That would be amazing. All right, let's uh That's the uh, that's the refinery I see now. Colin, what do you suggest we do next? Do you think we should uh like redo it and just kind of check it out again some more and just do some more kind of tests of our AI or do you want to like just do an, like an open creative world and we'll just like spawn in like a bazillion enemy NPCs and see what happens? But thank you, J uh, Turp. Thanks, J Turp and crew, and the you know Chipsticks and uh, other modders who have been uh, helping out with this because I'm super excited. Every time we look at this, it was just two weeks ago we first looked at the AI enable mods, and already in two weeks it feels way more polished. So I can only imagine in another two weeks, in two months, you know where this mod will be, and especially when this is released to the public and uh, the community has kind of got their hands on it and they're using it in their own scenarios and they're using it in like. Who knows? Some crazy battles or whatever. So, I'm just curious what you what you think we best now? Because I'm definitely up for taking taking some more doing some more tests of it here. I think it's not ready for lots of bots and multiplayer. Should I just put up a showcase bot? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, climb. But with the with the mod and we can just we can just see if we can how many bots we can spawn in. That last you know, like two weeks ago we spawned in like a bunch of zombies and stuff and it was just showing people like the hordes of enemy AI you can actually have in this. That's what I meant to what, what would be cool to show off. If every station had a working robot in the store and a robot working contracts and maybe a couple of us roaming around to make stations feel up yeah, it would. It would make it make definitely make stations feel alive, wouldn't it? Well, Ritty, there's another thing as well. There's combat, but also the other robot which we only briefly touched on was the repair bot. And this repair bot will actually uh, weld up unfinished grids and will help you build yeah, build in survival actually. So it's not always about combat. This was a combat scenario, but the the, the survival bot, the uh, the welder bot, will actually uh, pick up uh, spare parts on the floor. So it's going to follow me around here. See, look, and it's going to collect these parts up. Actually, so it's collecting these parts that are on the floor. That could be scrap metal as well. And then it will take those and put those into a cargo container. It's left the... Okay. Oh, I guess I do that. So now it's got that stuff inside it. Oh. <laughs> I just got killed by, uh, by Enera's bot there. I'm not friendly fire. I'm not on his faction, I guess. So now... The bot's a bit confused. So I think the bot's trying to put those, trying to put that stuff inside this car container, but the car container's block, oh, the assembler even. So just another, just another thing to show off that it's, it's also like that as well. 
So yeah, you can have bot fights, but your bots fight each other here. Why is it shooting me, actually? It's confusing. It's on, is it? I am in the faction, so... Okay, great. So we're going to switch servers now. Uh, this one, I think. Um, okay, great. Oh, wait, wait, what? Is that? No, the other one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Just a reminder, guys, that uh, Space Engineers and all the uh, DLC are on sale in the Steam Summer Sale as of today. 30% off on all of them except Warfare 1. Uh, I don't see it here, Climb. Strange. Did I, did I miss it? No problem, Crazy Tong. Hopefully we'll see you around. And uh, it's really great to see you in chat. And uh, I know it's, if it hadn't been for the whole COVID thing, we may have actually uh, seen each other in the last year or so. But uh, definitely, man. Have a good one, and I'll see you about. Right. Uh, I need a password, Clemagus. I think I just checked the uh, channel there. Okay. Oh, bruh. Oh, no. I know to get a bit of, of brunt of complaints, but thank you for streaming it. It is informative. Josh, yeah, I, I, I welcome, uh, you, can, you know, people can come to the stream of anything. I, I know not everyone's happy with the game and not everyone's happy with the, well, at least their own experience in the game, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm totally fine. It's something I used to not do so well with, but, uh, you know, it's it's been many years now and I've uh, definitely... Also, uh, developed a, a tougher skin to, you know, I don't get hurt or something like this. So, I can, it's, it's, I like to hear everything, you know, both good and bad. It's not, it's not that password climb, fortunately. It's weird. Unless I typed it in wrong. Oh no, so I got caps lock on. Hold on, tell the light might be. Wait. Nope. Don't I get it wrong again? Did I join the wrong server? <laughs> No, I think Anna tried to join as well. I do wish that was a thing where... Is it this server? Because this is the one I ended up on, I think. This SGD supporters server. That's the one that it took me to, I think. All right. Do I type in the... Let me try that again, Climb. I swear, oh, it's a, it's a different server IP there, isn't it? Slightly different. Yeah, it's slightly different there, isn't it? Okay, I'm in. No password. There we go. There you go. Great. Great stuff from Ms. Nomad. I love, I've love. i loved Space Engineers since I first found it on Steam in 2013. It was my first game on Steam. Never regretted it. There you go. Fantastic. Chris! Ednob! How you doing? Man, it's been... I can't believe it's been... What is it now? Two years since we, since, we, since we saw each other? I hope you're doing well, sir. Good to see that name in the chat. 
All right then, so we are in this test world. I'm just gonna show everyone who missed it a couple weeks ago, how many, just how many uh, bots you can get here. So let me create another combat bot. This is gonna be defending me here. Again, the, the bot will take the color of your suit color customization. So I'm gonna build this and now I'm gonna make an absolute monstrosity of a bot spawner here, hold on. Uh, sp uh, where is it? Spawner, there we are. Take a battery as well. And we'll just, we'll get to some Q&A guys in just a little bit, all right? Just gonna finish off, uh, oh man, is it survival mode? I think it might be actually. Yeah, so just gonna do a little bit more here and then we will do some Q&A to finish. Do a ramp down just in case it gets confused. You ready for this? I should probably put myself as indestructible as well. Get a, yeah, get a car ready, climb. Oh, I, I, I haven't got power yet, so we're safe for now. Hold on. I got good. Of course, you need to have. Just remember myself. <laughs> I know this is. It looks like some kind of cologne, like I don't know, colony pod or something. All right, I'm going to the max. It's all or nothing. Jay Turt's probably like, what is he doing? <laughs> I want to create an army of zombies and uh, uh, an army of zombies and robots again. Fuel oh, hello. Copied that. Yeah. I say some of you would have saw this last couple weeks ago, and we'll definitely be keeping a close eye on this and. I think when this mod releases to the public, we will do a another stream on it, kind of celebrating the launch, I think. So we'll definitely be, I know Climb's always keeping me up to date with what JTurp's up to, and I think it's great. I know some peeps, oh, I need to put batteries. Some people at Keen have definitely noticed uh, the stuff that he's up to, so it's really nice. All right, there we go. We have power on the spawners. Let the fun times begin. Here they come. My uh, AI bot's helping me out. Well, they don't spawn immediately here, so you, they, they spawn in batches. Hopefully, this will work. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's my robot. Yeah, my robot's still alive, I think. Whoa. That's it, that worked. I'm not sure if they have to have ramps down. I'm not sure here. Uh, here they come. They're doing two at a time. I'm not sure if it helps having more, actually. I'm not sure if it, the, the, the rate is, is uh, the same timing, you know? Well, we'll just let them. We'll let them just load in here. There are more coming. There's, oh, there you go. There's two more. There's six now. Let's just leave it for like a couple of minutes and see how many we can get. So we've got another video from Climb, and this is basically showing lots of combat bots information. This is giving like a little taster of what it would be like if we had armies of of bots to uh, control. <laughs> so it's an interesting video here. So going back. Hold on. The bots left. Spawning all the bots in. Some testing here from the guys. There you go. How many are what to? Wow. And now they're all going to run. <laughs> this is like an RTS. Look at this. They're all going to go into formation there. Nice. But this would be great if this is this is actually this is what comes about. If you can actually have whole kind of Maybe you wouldn't have maybe you wouldn't have infinite bots, right? Maybe there would be a limit per player. I don't know, like pff, even ten per player or something. Like you could have your own team or something, right? You know. But still, there you go, guys. What do you think of that? You see him basically ordering them around and running to position. And you've seen how these bots also navigate just fine on grids as well. So you know it's going to be fine to have even, maybe even assaulting a ship. 
How are we looking on the bots? I think climbs. Well, I think my bots killing them faster than they can spawn. Getting some armor three vibes. Yeah, I think it's better because you know the the mod still has some issues, and and so on. So. I think it'd be better to wait, you know, and then when it's when it's ready and it has even more features, you guys will really, really enjoy it. What is good, me and mine? Thanks. See us going strong, man. I miss Prague every time I see your streams. It's the time, the good times will come again, Ed Knob. I really hope you'll be back in Prague in the next couple of years, man. So I'm going to turn this down a bit here. It's getting that, that noisy, but you can see. I keep leaving it. I'm not going to die here. We'll just kind of see what happens when we really. Get ourselves a, a horde of uh, horde of spawns. Maybe I can copy and paste this. Just take this, just to speed this process up. This is absolute heresy, but if it gets the job done, there you go. <laughs> Bot skyscrapers. All right, let's see what that does. So I'm still not sure if it does any quicker because I think they just spawn two at a time. It doesn't increase. It'd be crazy if this would all, they all come out like. Yeah, I'm not sure that's helping. And of course, you know, J Turp and crew have made the the AI and everything, but when this could be in the hands of modders, then modders could actually again make whatever they wanted for models. They could do theme, they could do, you know, a sci-fi show themed enemies. I remember I always remember Sectan's I think Sectan made the Cylons. A really cool Cylon model. So having like Cylon AI, right, would be crazy. But you name it. Borg, whatever you want. Now there is enough power. that They're still spawning in, but it's just... Uh, I don't know what the timer is on them just to... Okay, so Klein says... To clarify, the slow rate is a gameplay limit, not a technical limit. You could spawn... 50 at once, yeah. Okay, so it's a gameplay... It's a gameplay limit for some reason. So, I mean, if, you, if you're if building a scenario, of course, you could have them already in position, already spawned in. Like here, we're just trying to force them to spawn in here. And it is taking a second, but... You know we need to paste in? We, we need to paste in like a, a grid line that we can like have them navigate on like a really complicated grid or like a maze i know i know jack made a maze right it'd be cool to kind of showcase how well they can um navigate through i mean they can climb ladders right so i climb this ladder here they should start chasing me let's have a look oh oh my goodness now they're all spawning wait what <laughs> now they're all spawning what well, apparently me climbing this grid spawned the mother load what the Look at that on the left. Oh my. <laughs> uh, uh, apparently me climbing the grid is like charging the, the spawners. Now we're getting an army. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. I found a bug, which is apparently good. Climb. Get climbing, Enero. We can spawn the masses. Yeah, that's so weird. It's like interacting with the grid spawns more of them. Let's see if we can get this this number. We're gonna pump these numbers up. Wow. Maybe there is a limit of some sort. But as for performance, you can check the sim speed. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. All right, they stopped spawning now, so maybe we have hit like a hard limit or something. I think. Are there any more spawning? And um, they can actually climb the ladder, but um, they're basically fighting each other. If there was only one of them, they could climb it, but that's the problem. All right, I'm. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, uh, pot, what's it called? Crowd surfing. All right, let's run. It's a mix of. Oh, I gotta get off them here. Let's run. All right, let's just walk here. Walk. Oh my goodness. Have you guys ever seen so many moving? Oh my. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh. It's... 
We th this is like legit zombie horde game now with robots as well. Zombie zombie robots. I'm drawing them away. All right, climb. You can you can run them over in a second. I I promise. I just want to see how big. I want to see just how far we can push this performance-wise. Right, hold on. I just want to see if we keep. Oh, I, I can't actually move right now. I'm actually stuck. They're actually pushing me. They're pushing me around. Ow! Right, sound is sound is not going to work because the. Just, just, just trying to see if we've hit a hard cap somewhere. I'm just waiting to see if any more spawn. If no more spawn, then we'll just uh, take them for a spin here, and then I kind of want to get them on a grid, like pick them up in a grid and see what happens. That's a lot of zombies there. You know, if you could get some different different kind of enemies as well, some bigger enemies, some kind of bosses or something, then mix in there. That would be very. I mean, with how many. The zombies are one thing, right? But judging by how many uh, robots there are shooting me, I'm dead easily. Like, a couple of those robots can actually kill you. Because they're like aimbots in a way, right? So, this many robots, you'd be just dead a long, long time ago if it wasn't for invulnerability. But it does seem like we've hit a hard limit here because I'm not seeing any more spawning in from any of the spawners. So, I think whatever this... I, I don't know what the count is here. You can see how the how is the CPU? Okay, the okay the the CPU load is at two hundred percent there. So probably oh hello, and I might have just crashed the game. <laughs> might have pushed it too far. Oh hello, I think we might have pushed it too much. It seems kind of weird though. It was working. It was super smooth, and then it's just suddenly oh it's gone. <laughs> Surprisingly not laggy, just gone. But it might have not been a lag. It might have also been just some crash or something. Because it was running. It wasn't like it was laggy. It was just like it was smooth and then it just suddenly died. So there you go, guys. Just to give you a kind of taste of potentially what you could have in this mob. Oh, I crashed the host, did I? Is that, uh, Are you still in the game, Enera? Just me who crashed. Let me see. Stargate Zark. Okay, this is... Hey, Mikel. No, the server is dead. Okay, great. Well, guys, I think that will wrap us up today for the scenario. Uh, big shout out to Climb as well for, for cooking the server up. And we're just going to do a bit of time now doing some uh, Q&A to finish. But hopefully that gets you hype for that release of that mob because you saw that, right? I didn't count how many there were, but... I mean, even even half that amount inside a building, and you're in big, big trouble. You know, you got limited, you got limited ammo. Um, it looked easy because I had invulnerability on, but without, you know, if I didn't have unlimited health, then I honestly think that I could actually have, yeah, I would be dead a long time ago. There, so. And of course, guys, let's see some love in the chat and some claps in the chat for Jay Turp. And the modder crew who have been working on AI enabled because it is really, really exciting stuff. And there's two bot types right now. The the welder bot and the combat block. We didn't uh, bot, we didn't show off the welder bot much today, but um check the stream from two weeks ago if you want to see more details on that one. And yeah, really looking forward to seeing how the mods grows out. Really looking forward to seeing what other bot types you might see. Again, someone said um Rodel said about the cargo bot, like a, a cargo mule. That'd be that'd be also really useful. Who knows? There's loads of options there. Um, yeah, really, really excited. And I know there's plenty of people who are, <laughs> uh, plenty of people who really wanted that to be released. So yeah, that'd be great. Who knows what features? I mean, if you can set up patrols, if you can set a combat bot to waypoints or multiple waypoints to patrol a corridor or to stand behind a desk or, you know, there's, 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 way, there's so many options there. Okay, so... Guys, what? any questions today? We'll do some questions, Q&A, ask anything. We, we probably won't have time for all the questions, but I'll try and get as many as I can done here now. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. Just put question in the chat. It will help me see it above the other things there. Okay, Bruss says, what are your thoughts on Minor Wars 2081? Did you develop it? I really enjoyed that game when I was like eight years old. I discovered it by accident on my dad's theme after playing SE. No way, bruh. 
Um, well, I uh, Minor Wars 2081 was before my time. I joined the company, you know, in 2015 after the Space Engineers was a couple years of development. So, um, Minor Wars was obviously before SE. Um, I've I've played Minor Wars. It's actually some good fun there, and there's a lot of things in there which you can see, which are uh, which are kind of made their way across to SE. So it is interesting. If you if you if, you've, if you're a SE fan, it's it's definitely worth a look at Minor Wars just to kind of see. You know the the, uh, the the what's the word the uh, I'm blank uh, the parents I'm looking for like uh, relatives uh, I've gone blank now similarities origin yeah origins I guess foundations all these words because even the UI was very similar it's changed now of course but lots of things are actually. And even, I think even some of the music and some of the sound effects may actually still be in SE, so. Okay, so we'll be adding true VR support. Even just the headset of default controls or keyboard and mouse will be amazing. Will there be further game optimizations and can uh, have issues max on a 3080? So, Robert, uh, VR, love VR. We've played SE VR as well. It's great. We've had some experiment in the past. There's a stream probably a couple of years ago where me and Marek are playing Space Engineers VR. It's amazing stuff. Um, no plans currently, just because there's a lot of features we want to do, a lot of things we want we, we want to work on, and it's you know it's always a matter of resources. And uh, VR is one of those things that it's unfortunately there's still not that many people have it in relative, you know compared to say it's five percent or ten percent of gamers have it, maybe let I'm not sure. Still, it's 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 still hard when there's lots of things that where hundred percent of people can enjoy. It's not to say that we don't want it. We actually a lot of us in uh, Keen love VR. It's just the fact that it's We'd rather work on features for now that would benefit more players, you see what I mean? Optimizations, there's always more optimizations. Every update, every, you know, we're always finding ways to optimize the game in small ways and bigger ways. So definitely, you, you go back and play the game version from a couple of years ago and you can definitely do more in the game than you can do a couple, and you could have do a couple of years ago. Even in multiplayer, multiplayer is so much better than it was. I remember when having like 12 players was exciting, you know, in some survival world, so. Uh, when are we able to build the Keen logo in vanilla? That's a very good question, Crimson. I know that gets asked a lot. Um, I'm not sure about that. It's a good point, though. <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, can you please ask Keen to update the editing tools to a more intuitive setup? They are scattered programs and guides. Yes, so Josh, we realize our guides are still not what they need to be. Um... So definitely, it's on the list, actually. Ways, uh, definitely improving the, the guides. Uh, and of course, always looking to improve the mod SDK as well. Um, let's look in Twitch now. Uh, well, uh, the... Mikael, the, the NPCs are a mod, so... You can definitely, you could be doing it on a pre-built city or something. You can also, you could also do that if the scenario was set up that way. We just did a scenario tonight on that. Uh, what mod did you use for the King logo, says Sky King? Uh, I think it's the, I think it's the three by ones. What's the next five updates and when are, when are they coming? Let me think. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, uh, too early to say, OMG. We are getting closer, though, to that next release. It won't be long now um, until we start definitely giving some previews. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Lux says, I've been checking out uh, a lot of servers recently. I keep hearing don't build on the planet as players will roam patrol with the F11 display up looking for skin changes. Uh... What is that, Lux? Skin change? You mean the skin drops? F11. That's interesting, Lux. I haven't heard about that, honestly. I have no idea what that's about. Don't build on planets. Uh, have a great night, Ednob. Thanks for hanging out. Will there be improvements to the lighting system? It definitely hasn't aged well. For me, there are more features to uh, bring out a more... Wait, hold on. There are more features to bring out a more game-like aspect. Dynamic procedure-generated goals and quests. So, 
Yeah, there's a the list is endless, isn't it, Robert? In terms of ideas that we could look at. I mean, I definitely want to see the world, the the game worlds, become more alive. Be that with like quests or missions or you know NPCs, something like that. It's it's, it's really cool to have this. When you load up the game, you never quite know what's going to happen, right? So the question is, like, will there be like potentially, potentially? Acolyst the system. Uh, reloaded. This is what space engines could be with NPCs. Just perfectly populated sit in space. That sounds interesting, Paolo. That sounds really interesting. The problem is, I don't think optimization wise we'll ever get cities. You know, we, we'll get like outposts or like small city looking outposts or skyscrapers, but a full bustling city with the current like limitations i i can't see it happening there are some cities out there and you'd be surprised maybe what se can run I've, I've looked at some abandoned city maps and they're amazing but i think in the way that cities imagine them i think like these grand cities it is uh it's currently out of the scope you know um of what's possible i'll have to check it out Paolo. that sounds really good the echo that the echo list is system reloaded the neon tubes, is there a way to make them power so the level of brightness can be controlled? I'd like to make them... Yeah, I get you, Miss Nomad. Uh, the thing is, they're just emissive blocks. They're not actually... Hold on. Neon. Wait a second. I... I can't remember, actually, now, Miss Nomad. I forgot how they were. I thought... I would have said they were emissive, but... Oh, they are missing them depending on what color you paint them as what colors yes they're, they're not like light sources and that's an optimization thing honestly that's why you can't change the level of light brightness of those neon tubes it's to do with the fact that the the technology is different because if they were lights then people would have them all over the station and they would actually be really heavy on performance so the way they are now is not yeah, I mean, Space Engineers has been in development for eight years now. It's the, you know, the original code is eight years old. So it's, it's been a long road and uh, definitely it's getting, it's, there's definitely areas that are getting really hard to, uh, really hard to, I'd say, uh, do things cr in a crazier way without, you know, really building from the ground up or, you know, going into the, the really base level code, right? The game is always finding ways to optimize, but like some of the, the, the crazy uh, epic, epic scale things, I think will, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, let's see. Jesper's asking about another question. I mean, that, that question there is also the same as, uh, I think another one about having more things in the game, like NPCs and stuff. So, you know, nothing is, uh, I can't say anything about it now, but definitely it's it's something that, you know, the people wanting the game world to be more alive and having objectives is really something that people uh, are constantly asking about. Uh, let's have a look. I'll look in uh, Twitch chat again. Um... Any questions? Uh, I want a mob where you can have those NPCs, but in, in like an RTS where you can assign them to vehicles and ships and tell them where to go or what to do and attack and maybe, yeah. I mean, it, those the way you could, the way those the, that GIF was working out, it definitely felt like you could order around these NPCs and get them to do tasks. So, you know, who knows what was possible with NPCs? I'm sure if NPCs are there, it wouldn't be that hard to do like an RTS style uh, scenario or something like that. Uh. The trailer soundtrack's public. I mean, the, the trailer soundtracks, they're not like a secret or anything. I think it's just a matter of doing it. So definitely, um, you can always just rip it, I guess, but you probably want it about the voices, right? Maybe I can have a look. Again, Ms. Nomad, Keen definitely didn't ignore you. I can, I can tell you that. Like, no one is actively ignoring anyone. It's just, you know... Um, it's, it's just always a matter of, I think, if, if you happen to be missed that many years, it really is just unfortunate, I think. Um, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'm glad I can get to some of your points now. 
Uh, yeah, some of the questions I can't answer. Uh, <laughs> yet. I'm trying to see the ones I definitely can answer right now as well. Yeah, there was two questions. There was another question about the about that. Okay. Oh, just another reminder that the, the, the winning soundtracks, the Sound of Space Engineers contest will be coming in the next major update. So I know people are still waiting for those, uh, the Space Pirate shanties and the uh, the, te uh, the techno and whatever else we had there, the metal, kind of rock, rocky stuff. So it's like, I don't think really metal was precise, more just dramatic, epic. It's a good point though, Crimson Cool. It's a good point uh, about the soundtracks. I guess because I haven't had that many people ask about it, honestly. Maybe I have seen a couple of questions about it. Do you have a mod that you always use in your own playtime? Probably, well, Weapon Core. Weapon Core, definitely. But also, you know, love the... Uh, recently been playing with the Industrial Overhaul. But a mod that I've always used. I mean, we always use... Well, most we, we often very commonly use aerodynamics you know the drag mod so that's that's something that we i really like but um yep that's great miss nomad tater bits how are you doing eight years and still going uh oh i'm talking weapon core last weekend I hosted the first two nights of the Grand Star Course Season 1 tournament. We had two days, and we've had 36 teams competing. And it's been... The, we had some technical issues the first stream, but the second stream was solid. And some amazing battles. Some of the best Space Engineers battles I've ever seen, actually. And we've actually got the, uh, the day three of the, the Grand Tournament this Saturday. So um, this this Saturday will be the final. Um, it'll be basically showing showcasing the final teams that haven't fought yet. So after Saturday, we'll be moving to the top 16, and then there'll be the another stream will be the best of three quarterfinals, and then the final stream will be the semis, the finals, and the losers bracket best of three as well. So um, definitely, if you're into space engineers battles and com the competitive scene, uh, definitely join me on Saturday over on Twitch. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to get start getting really intense when we start getting the teams that have already won a battle kind of fighting against each other there. So I'll be uh, kind of sharing this out as we get uh, continuing as we get towards the, the grand final of the grand tournament season one. Uh, yeah, so definitely recently the last year it's been Weapon Core. That, that, that is the number one mod that is blowing my mind, I think. Um, obviously this AI stuff's coming now. But just over the last year, I'd say, it's definitely been you know, what we've been able to do with the, the fights in, in SE, so. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh... Let me have a look. Some other questions here. A couple more questions for today. Oh, yeah. We were, sorry there wasn't that many questions. We, if we won't have so long today, but we always there's always a chance of questions every week. So if you if you come back every week, I should get to it eventually. Uh, uh, let's have a look. Um, looking, looking, looking. <sighs> well, we have a block in block build. So more kind of transition between large and small grid. So yeah, like, I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Multi, multi blocks, compound blocks. Uh, it's uh, not something planned for now because it would be such a, a fundamentally big changing thing, Fazek. But it's it's definitely on the list of uh, you know top um, top things to uh, to look at because you know it's I think it's compound blocks, water, aerodynamics, NPCs. And I guess more combat still. I think they're the, they're the top five things that are like the most requested, right? There's obviously more and more, but um, I still think that's the, you know, it's probably the most, probably. 
Yeah, Warner Mod does work great. And Jack, we, should, we are due... We are due a, uh, a look at the Water Mod as well with uh, Jack. And Jack just sent me a gift the other day showing... I think it was last week's stream, showing foam on the waves and stuff. So even the water is, is looking more and more realistic now. Okay. Um... Are you fighting on Sunday, Saturday, Mod? I'm glad I could get to you, Fezek. I'm just uh, finishing now. Yeah. So, um... Final question for tonight. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Anyone? Have I this one there? Uh, any plans for an overhaul update to the grid menu? Uh, what do you mean grid menu? Oh, you mean like the terminal? Terminal screen? Taters. Tater bits. You're a viewer only. Okay, great. Okay, fantastic. Bish bash, that sounds good. Uh, come on, Riggs. The, the current tournament's closed, but definitely we'll be doing more tournaments in the future. If you want to check out the tournament scene and get involved in future ones, you can check out uh, starcore.tv should uh, be the link you want to get involved in future tournaments and see the rules and stuff. Um, just waiting for what... We're just waiting to see what uh, Tater said. Yeah, so terminal screen, grouping block controls, more flexibility, creating subsystems. Oh, yes. I think, again, it's one of those things that completely redoing it would be a huge amount of work because it's it's so, it's like, it's, it's one of those, again, key fundamental core features of SE. But improving it, that's always an option. You know, you're always adding new functionality to it. Grouping blocks into subsystems would be very nice, actually. Because it's, it, I realize finding stuff in there can be an absolute nightmare sometimes, especially on those bigger stations. Yeah, I mean, it's okay if you're on like a small fighter or like a small uh, dropship or something. But if you have like a, a station with like 10,000 blocks or whatever, it's it gets very, very uh, messy. So I can definitely, it's definitely something that I that, that could happen. Uh, I haven't seen any plans for it currently, but it's uh, improving that would be a good one. Okay, guys, so let's see. Who do we have in the chat tonight to give some shout outs? Let's have a little look in the YouTube and the Twitches tonight. Uh, in the Twitch, I see B Swiss, Commander Riggs, B Soldier, Dun Hiker, Marwan, Even Star, Rotao, Commander Shepherd, Strong, Doverkeen. OMG Vert, Verissimo, and in the YouTube I see Miss Nomad, Lux Media, Paolo, Fazek, Heiko, Mustafa, Gabby, Taterbits, Chris J from USA, LX and R, Taterbits, Director Smith, William M. Shout out to the voice. Shout out. Shout out to the voice of Clan. Um, Craig the Mad, Gabby Arm, Jesper, Sazarin, uh, Nemanov, Kidna, Bald Nick, Star Driver. And I think I got everyone there. We're going to send a raid over to someone on Twitch. Let's have a look who's streaming on Twitch tonight. And now I'm going to go and have a look at how I might fix my keyboard, which I spilt drink all over today. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm scared to plug it back in again and to see if it's... I think it'll still work. It's just whether or not some keys will be buggered up or if the RGB will be buggered up. I mean, I can live without the RBG, honestly, I guess. Um, okay. 
Aldake as well. Kingdom Brag. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, just keep, keep, keep an eye out. But thank you guys so much. I may not see you next week because there's a chance that there won't be a stream next week. But uh, stay tuned because there might be. And uh, if not, we'll, I'm sure we'll, there will be one after that. So have a great weekend, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you on Saturday for the, the StarCore tournament continuation. And until next time... If your rotors are banging, better hope your ship ain't clanging.